So our first step is going to be building a database table that will store our information. In Drupal, we're not going to create our table or get rid of our table using straight up SQL queries. The reason for this is that they aren't cross database compatible. Instead, we're going to use the database abstraction layer and provide something called a schema, which is an array of information about the database table. And then from there, the database API will take care of creating our table for us, regardless of what database we're working with. Let's go ahead and take a look at a schema. We're going to look at the user.install file here, which can be found in modules slash user. So this is in the user module. And if you want to follow along, you can look for schema, the array schema, and the user's key for it. So what we're saying here is that we're taking the user's table and we're assigning it this array of information. And this includes not just direct information about the columns, but some metadata as well. So we start off with a description here, which says stores user data. So this is a description of the table itself. And then we're supplying the fields. So we have a fields item in the array. Inside of this is a list of fields. We're starting with the UID, which is the unique ID for each user, and we're assigning it an array. And these are all parameters for the column in the database table. So we're giving it a type of init, so it's an integer. It's unsigned, which means that the numbers will always be positive. It's not null, so it won't ever be a null value. And here's a description of the column, primary key, unique user ID, and then it has, sets a default for it to zero. And then it goes through each column and provides information like this for each one. You can see this is a pretty big table. And then after all of the fields are defined, we have the indexes that are defined for the table, any unique keys. You can give it a primary key, which is the auto incrementing integer that will be the unique identification for the row. So in this case, it's UID and foreign keys as well. Okay, so if you're thinking about what it would take in order to wrap your mind around how to create a schema from a database table that you've already created, and this is the typical workflow, you're going to create a database table as you're working through the development process, and then you're going to need to convert it to a schema you don't have to worry because there's a module that will take that table and convert it into a schema array for you. But it helps to be able to look at a schema and understand it, at least read it, so you know what's going on there. But let's go ahead and create our database table and then run it through the schema module to create our schema for our module.